Hello my friend, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna very fast talk about books. Indeed, every now and then I get the comment, hey, which books do you suggest to start to learn how to code? Which books did you read? Well, today I'm gonna show you. Of course, this is not gonna be a way to put some links in the description, some Amazon affiliate links like all other YouTubers do as I saw. No, this is just gonna be me generally talking to you about the books I read the ones I loved. I didn't read so many books, unfortunately. My attention span is kind of totally ruined, like yours, I guess, right? Because we have YouTube, we have uh, all the social networks, and you cannot really focus that long. So books are not a thing anymore for me. Once upon a time, they were. When I was a kid, I was an avid reader. Indeed, I had all my uh, plenty of books. I really don't understand how I managed to change that much. Now, when I see a book with 200, 300 pages, I really feel overwhelmed. I, I think to myself, well, this is going to be impossible to do. This is really bad because books are a great source. Two years ago, when I started to learn how to code, I opened my first book. Now I'm going to show you exactly the ones I read. The ones are worth a mention. Of course, you're smart enough to find uh, all these books. <laughs> you don't need any kind of link. Okay, let's start from the very first book I read, which is this one. Written by Corey Altov. This is in Python and basically is uh, talking about his experience uh, with code, how Python changed his life and blah, 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 stuff like that. As you can see, you start what is programming, what is Python, installing Python. And I remember when I started from really nothing, knowing anything about programming and computer science and so forth, this felt so impossible. Like to me, make sure you download Python 3, not Python 2. Already was confusing, <laughs> I remember. 64-bit computer. What is a 64-bit computer compared to 32? Interactive shell. You have an IDE that in Python is called idle because, because Guido Van Russell, uh, the Python creator, is a juggler and he likes to make jokes all around. So. And, and basically, like all the programming languages, you have your first hello world on the screen. I remember thinking to myself, why it is interesting? Why writing hello world in a terminal is interesting? What's the point? What's going on? What do we mean by input and output? And all these stupid ideas, right? When you start to, to learn. Here we start with loops for a unit range, right? With Python. <laughs> okay, long story short, this was my beginning. Not the best. I don't, I don't really have good memories of this book. Not because the book is not good. Now, if I read this, is Easy Vanilla is an ice cream, of course. But back in the days, it, it was terribly difficult. <laughs> because it's not really built from first principles. You don't understand what is underneath the hood. But as I could, I personally like to understand everything that goes into the machine before the actual uh, software part, right? I'm an outdoor person. I like to understand what's down, how everything works and why the code is written the way it is written. You see, first book I would suggest, mm, I don't know, probably not, but it's a good book. This is a good book, but not for me. Second book. And this one, in my opinion, is an absolute masterpiece because this is a book that is going to explain to you really the first principles, the ideas behind computation, basically the idea behind, uh, binary digits, like transforming some data from one specific symbol set to another symbol set, from binary to hexadecimal to, to everything, basically. We start from the real beginning. We have two friends that want to talk to each other only using a flashlight. And then we understand the art of coding, right? You can speak with someone using only a flashlight. If you think about that, this is kind of what is going on with um, the fiber. You see, all the bits are transferred thanks to lights that is going. We start really from the primitives. Then we go up, we start to understand that we can create something with these ideas and everything is explained in a very, very user-friendly way. For example, this is the encoding of the friends. They can speak with dash and points. This of course is like the code morse. Here we have the combinations that we can have with letters. Then we go deep with our encodings. Then we start to understand how we can build circuits with some Boolean logic and everything, as you can see, as very user-friendly images. Here, I just want to show you how the writer explains hexadecimal. As you can see, he uses these examples, which are marvelous. It is trying to explain hexadecimals using super random symbols. It is not a technical book. It is thought for beginners that have to understand all these ideas. Code by Charles Petzold. Super suggested. I would say that this has been a game changer in my understanding of computer science at the beginning of my journey. Super, 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 super suggested book.
this one code another good book that i really enjoyed is this one book written in a very user friendly way it's an introduction to computer architecture how the computer is made how this bare bone machine can understand the, the, the inputs we are given here there is also a website and here they have the og video related to the cpu how it's built if i remember correctly here as you can see you have an entire uh, central processing unit you can see directly the various chips and this is bananas in my opinion this is really crazy there is also a cpu model online that you can toggle this one okay and and this is really educational i remember i was playing with that and here you have a cpu <laughs> you can play with an actual cpu here you have the memory cells and if you dig a little bit into how this stuff works of course if you watch now this um, seems like uh, impossible to decipher but actually this is not it's a very simple cpu once you understand the overall ideas of this you can feel comfortable when we talk about cpus when we talk about the ram when we talk about movements between the ram and the registers and so and so on okay so this is super suggested i just want to show you that it is written like a story computers seem mysterious and magical how can they do what they do they play games they draw pictures they know your credit rating these machines are capable of doing all sorts of strange and wondrous things yet they are simple so you see that's the kind of vibe you get by this. you won't find out to build chips from uh, Verilog, which is a language specific to build stuff, but you will find very easy, very simple concepts that will build your knowledge from the ground up. So, another book, super suggested. Now, this is another book that I suggest every time, <laughs> which comes from Nan to Tetris, which is The Elements of Computing Systems, Building a Modern Computer from First Principles. That's really a manual, that's a manual of the course, and here you can find step by step how to build a computer using the, um, the tools that the course is giving you which are um, pieces of software that are checking your codes when you build some logic gates when you build the hail you when you build the ram everything is checked by some software that is given by by the course so here you get basically uh instructions a, a gate is a physical device that implements a boolean function and so forth it's more technical than the previous two books but still is a an entry level i would say it is not a university book you can understand everything starting from the beginning this is an xor chip and you will build that indeed when you code you can do xor operations on the variables you see you will actually understand what is going on underneath the hood and everything will be built thanks to nand chips indeed you can build an entire computer only with nand gates you will understand it the marrow of your bones thanks to this marvel's book of course everything is free i guess in the, in the website from man to treasures another book that i liked is inside the machine as you can see i really like understanding what is inside the computer so i started from these books and i have to say this got me a very good understanding of c code because i really envisioned all this knowledge all this theory when i declare variables when i do the stuff so i think this is knowledge that will pay its dividends when you're gonna write software this book is um uh, not on the same level of the previous ones but it is a good read if you want to deepen a little bit your knowledge i'd suggest if i had to give some grades i would say this book is a seven the other ones are on the nine so the previous three are much better in my opinion but this is not bad nonetheless it's still written in a simple fashion you can see many images kind of suggested and this will simply fix all the knowledge that you already have if you read the previous books so now we, we move a little bit from uh, computer architecture our stuff is built and we go into algorithms into actual code the only book i remember is this one grokking algorithms i happen to have read different books but i cannot remember because probably they were too complex too boring and so forth king algorithms is very simple is thought for beginners now i'm going to show you the chapter on recursion and everything is explained in a super simple fashion even the images are kind of for kids as you can see the code is python which is almost pseudo code right python is famous to be like uh, plain english almost <laughs> now it doesn't upload very properly but as you can see you have this kind of sketches right you have this kind of draws that very simply in a very friendly way explain to you concept what is a uh, the concept of logarithm and so on here you have your python code i repeat to you is almost english almost pseudocode so it's perfect to explain the uh, algorithm so another book that i really enjoy this is software oriented basically you will understand 
big O concept, uh, you will understand the complexity, what do we mean by asymptotic notation and so forth. Other book, super suggested, is not very long. It's a short read indeed, but you have to spend time to try to write by yourself code. Now we go more technical. This is learn enough developer tools to be dangerous. More technical, quote unquote, because this is still um, very user friendly, beginner friendly book. Here you can find Vim, Git, and the command line. So Vim is very write stuff. The command line is the shell. And Git is a, a fancy tool that allows you to push stuff on GitHub. It allows you to, it is a virtual control system. It's a more technical thing. If you're starting out, I wouldn't study immediately Git. You will need this stuff later, but Vim and the command line is really important immediately. So let's just have a look inside this book. So we start from the command line. Everything is written in a joke fashion. The writer is very good. He's making jokes everywhere. So computer may be as close as we get to magic in the real world. We type incantations into the machine and if the incantation are right, the machine does our bidding. To perform such magic, computer witches and wizards rely not only on words, but also on whens, potions and an ancient tome or two. So you see like everything is super funny, super user friendly and you will enjoyed this read in my opinion i really enjoyed i could understand command line immediately which is notoriously tricky for beginners right when you open the terminal it, everything feels really overwhelming but the book is super super simple so if you start out highly suggested command line vim and git so this is the book i actually both uh books separated three books but here you have the bundle all together as i can see Super suggested. Okay, now uh, after you read all these books and uh, spend a lot of time on video on YouTube, <laughs> because YouTube is the first source, the main source, you start to need more serious stuff. And the book that I'm currently reading and that I currently enjoy is this one, Unix and Linux System Administration and Book. This is, again, another book more serious, but still has this joking vibe, you see. For example, let's watch the first chapter. Where to start? You see, immediately the image is like, okay, it's gonna be three key, this path, but we're gonna do it together and don't worry. I, I get this vibe by watching this image. I don't get the, 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 the impossible system administrator hacker that performs super abstruse code, right? You get a more accommodating vibe. So the book is a long book uh, and you should read it like a manual, essentially. When you need to understand a specific topic, for example, uh, booting and system management. You go here and you understand very easily everything that goes on. You understand from the beginning to end what is happening in your system when you boot. It is showing all the commands. This is sysadmin stuff, but explained in a way that is kind of enjoyable. Notoriously, this stuff is really, really boring. Then, of course, we have the OG book, which is the C programming language. That's the book I'm trying to decipher in my YouTube page, <laughs> basically. The C programming language by Kerning and, and Ritchie. Useless to say that I will suggest. And then the last book that I'm gonna suggest that I'm currently reading, and I think it's a very important read is this one, Computer System, A Programmer's Perspective. This goes deep, this goes deep. It really gives you a clear understanding of what is going on with your program. And this is really important when you get into some kind of box that you cannot really understand and of course, this is sophisticated stuff, not for a beginner approach, you see. It is written in a friendly way, but you need to understand a lot of concept already. All the cold examples are written in C, so you need to be kind of fluent. And yeah, it's like the thing I'm doing now. Uh, I'm trying to specialize, I'm trying to understand very deeply this low-level software stuff. That's it. So as you can see, I'm reading with you. I showed you the book that I think are useful if you are a beginner that gave me a good understanding of programming and the books that I'm actually reading. So the Unix uh, book system administration and this one uh, related to computer systems. So as you can see, this is a never ending story. When we study computer science, we still have to study in computer science. Indeed, there is not a, okay, I know the subject, that's it. As long as I move, as long as I feel into a black hole of knowledge and I will never be proficient but anyway we go on okay we finished I hope you enjoyed the video this is only my humble experience of course there must be a plethora of books that I don't even know exist this is the ones I read so when you will comment which book 
would you suggest i will link this video <laughs> okay thank you my friend for watching enjoy